My name is Michael Ryan and I'm the creator of Michaelmon Regions on Instagram and Twitter. I'm so glad to be back. I know it's been a while, but like most of you, I've been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus nonstop and having the time of my life. Most of you have already seen on my Instagram page that I've been quite inspired and have announced my own Pokemon Legends style version or project for the Fearin region known as Pokemon Legends Remdoll. And um, if you haven't checked that out, I'll be going over that in the next month or so, both here on the YouTube and my Instagram page. So I'll be exploring both the Fear and Regions past and present in really cool ways, introducing ancestors, new regional forms, evolutions, new forge forms, the noble Pokemon, the riding Pokemon. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to tie into the current project in cool ways. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I just couldn't stop thinking about that while playing Legends Arceus and... It's going to be really cool to explore that side of the Fearn region. I'm also going to eventually do it for the Luika region as well, which I know a lot of you have been um, asking about, so fear not. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to finally be introducing some brand new Pokemon for the Fearn region, more of the Pokemon found on Route 1 and the early game, including the regional cat and dog Pokemon found in every region, which I am very excited to share as I really, really like both of these lines. You'll even be getting a sneak peek at their evolutions in this video. And next week, I'll be introducing their Forge forms for their final stages, as well as announcing the winner for the Forge form contest I recently held. By the way, you guys did a really, really good job on that. I was really impressed with all of your submissions and creativity. It was a lot of fun and I honestly didn't even expect that kind of turnout. So thank you guys so much for participating. I love seeing your artwork and your ideas, and I cannot wait to announce a winner next week. Possibly even some winners, because you guys made this quite challenging for me. So we'll see. Anyways, let's have a look at some of these Pokemon. First, I'd like to formally introduce Grumper, the Fear and Region's regional cat Pokemon and a pure ghost type. I know I already introduced or teased Grumper a little in my holiday special as it's based on an Icelandic Christmas creature, the Yule Cat, but I wanted to go back and properly cover this furball for those of you who may have missed it. Always grouchy, there isn't much that brings Grumper joy. Able to phase through walls with ease, Grumper wander from home to home looking for their next meal. You can even see Grumper making use of its ghost-like abilities and even phasing through its trainer in the concept art. As you can see, Grumper isn't overly expressive, yet still oozes personality. This grouchy cat is inspired by Icelandic stray cats, a ghoulish creature from Icelandic Christmas folklore known as the Yule Cat, and Icelandic sweaters. A fun nod to the fact that the Yule Cat is said to eat children who haven't received new clothes by the time Christmas comes around. Grumper's name comes from Grump, a reference to its grumpy appearance, and Purr, as it is commonly found in a variety of cat Pokemon's names. It is a ghost type because it is a spooky tale and creature often depicted in an ominous fashion. It's got darker and cooler colors to fit the Fearn region's colder aesthetic as well as its ghost typing. Grumper evolves into Chillinx, which gains the ice typing after evolving. Its name is a combination of Chili and Lynx. Able to face through matter, Chillinx aren't often seen unless they want to be. However, many claim their presence can be detected by a spine-tingling chill in the air and the ominous sound of a bell ringing. While expanding upon all its concepts in the pre-evolution's design, it also now takes inspiration from the lynx found in Norway. It keeps the sweater-like fur from its first stage, except now its colors are slightly darker and it's got a wispy phantom bell as a reference to the Yule Cat it's inspired by. It's even got a signature ghost-type move called Phantom Bell, which cuts its HP to increase its special attack. I'll also be revealing Chillinx's Forge form next week. Next we have my personal favorite fear in line with the adorable puppy Pokemon Furzin, a play on Frozen and Fur, a pure ice type inspired by the infamous and fluffy Icelandic Sheepdog. Loyal to a fault, Furzin will do anything to make their trainers happy. Easily excitable, they will pounce on top of and lick strangers with their icy cold tongue usually freezing them to the touch. This can be seen in its concept art. The Icelandic Sheepdog is inspired by is a breed of spits originating from the dogs brought to the country of Iceland by Vikings. They're commonly used to herd sheep in the Icelandic countryside. In fact, I almost made it a regional yamper, but decided as every region has its own brand new dog and cat line, it was worthy of being its own Pokemon. Not to mention its evolution, which you will soon see, goes in a whole new direction. That really wouldn't fit the Yamper line. The hardest part in making this design was making it stand apart from the Lolan Vulpix design, so it's slightly darker shades of blue to help differentiate it. 
Furzen evolve into Snowwarg, a play on the word snow and warg, warg being a type of wolf in Norse mythology, such as the iconic Fenrir which has inspired this design. Much how Grumper gained the ice typing after evolving, Furzen gains the ghost typing after evolving to parallel that. Legend has it Snowwarg created its icy chains as a way to bound its true power, otherwise everyone and everything within a certain radius from it would be frozen solid. Fenrir, the monstrous wolf from Norse mythology, was the son of the trickster god Loki. Fearing Fenrir's strength and the evil expected of the beast, the gods bound him with a magical chain made of various occult elements. Hence Snowwark's ghost typing and the icy chains and shackles featured so prominently in its design. In fact, Snowwark even has a signature move, Icy Chains, which it uses to trap opponents in battle so they can't switch out or flee. Its wispy fur loses its ice blue coloring for a darker shade to better represent its ghost typing that I couldn't help but associate with Fenrir. However, the icy chains pop even more against these darker colors. If you look closely, its fangs are even subtly shaped like icicles. Once again, I debated making this an ice type regional variant of the Lycanroc line, but ultimately decided Fenrir was worthy of being its own Pokemon, as it's such an important part of Norse mythology. This is without a doubt my favorite Pokemon in the Fearin region, and I am so excited to show off its Forge form next week as well. I commissioned and worked with the talented Fake Mons on both the Grumper and Furzen lines. He did both my cat and dog lines for the Luika region, so I couldn't help but use him again for these lines. It's important to note that both Grumper and its Evolution Chillings are special attackers and Pokemon Brain exclusives, while Furzen and its Evolution, Snowwarg, are both physical attackers and exclusive to Pokemon Brawn. Both of which would be found on Route 1 along with the previously introduced Pokemon, however you'd only find the one found in your respective version. I thought these two would make sense as counterparts given the swapped and shared typings as I already mentioned with Chillinx being Ghost Ice type and Snowwarg being Ice Ghost type. Last but certainly not least we have the masked Pokemon, the Dark type, Tricoon. This little rascal is inspired by raccoons and the masquerade masks worn at masquerade balls which were once big throughout Europe. These mischievous Pokemon like to trick and taunt others in an attempt to rob them of their valuables. The citizens of the Fearin region view them as pests, often trying to scare them off their property on sight. I thought the dark typing was fitting of the mysterious nature associated with its masquerade inspired concept and design. I also think the dark typing is fitting of raccoons, as they are seen as a nuisance or pest to most, as mentioned in its own dex entry. Raccoons are also known for their thick fur, which insulates them in colder weather, making them a perfect fit for the colder climate of the Fearin region. I worked with the talented trainer match on this design and its evolution. While simplistic, I think it has a lot of personality. I wanted it to look both cute and menacing, but also have an air of mystery to it. Tricoon's slick black and white design is also inspired by the outfits typically worn to masquerade balls. For example, its fur is a collar. It's subtle features like this that I think really makes a good Pokemon design. It usually doesn't take a whole lot to sell a Pokemon concept, usually just one or two key features. The circles around its eyes are meant to look like a white masquerade mask and really pops alongside the darker black and grays in the design. This would be considered the key feature of this design in my opinion, and should be the first thing that everyone notices. Tricoon evolves into Rascarade, the masked Pokemon, its name coming from Rascal, Raccoon, and Masquerade. Rascarade are quick and cunning Pokemon, making them quite the adversaries both in and out of battle. They often hide in the bushes using the face on their tails as a decoy to distract their unexpecting targets. Remaining a pure dark type, it expands upon the Masquerade elements from the first stage with the mask around its eyes, its collar, and its fur looking like a formal dress suit similar to the ones worn to such events. However, Rascarade looks a lot more regal and suave. Its cunning nature being a pure dark type found early game as well as its Masquerade mask around its eyes is a reference to the Nikit and Thievil line, also found in the Fearin region by the way, as I see it as a counterpart to that line. I like to do this a lot with a bunch of my Pokemon, as I think making references to older Pokemon really kind of helps tie them to the Pokemon world, as Pokemon themselves does this with a bunch of Pokemon in future generations, tying back to some of the Pokemon in past generations. I also took inspiration from the Phantom Thief Joker from the Persona games for this stage, as I wanted it to exude that same sense of unspoken confidence. 
As mentioned in its dex entry, its tail being much bigger also gains what looks like a second face, which can be used to confuse foes or as a decoy, like previously mentioned. I thought this fit well with its deceitful masquerade theme in nature. Rasquerade is actually the ace Pokemon of a very important character in the Fearn region, who I will be introducing in my video next week, along with its Forge form. Not only will I be introducing all three of these Pokemon's Forge forms next week, but I'll also be featuring all of your incredible fan arts you've submitted for the Forge form contest, and announcing the win and have their design officially featured in the Fearin region. And if you want to get the full Fearin experience, please make sure to follow me on my Instagram account at Michaelmon underscore regions as well to see the stats, movesets, hidden abilities, sprites, and the shinies for all of the Fearin Pokemon that I've shown so far and all the others to come in the future. Well, there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed these new Pokemon. Please, if you did, make sure to leave a comment down below. I love going through and reading all of those. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and most importantly, please make sure to follow me to keep up with more content. There's so much to come in the future for both the Fearin region, the Luika region, and now even my Legends project. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you're enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus as much as I am. I would love to hear your comments on the game as well down below. So anyways, go catch yourself a shiny and have some fun.